Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. And welcome to the Endless Adventure Christmas Special Yay. Extravaganza. Fun times. Happy holidays. <laughs> we are in Bath, England, and apparently it is known for having one of the, if not the, best Christmas market in all of the UK. All right, I'm sure it's in the running. I'm sure that's heavily <laughs> disputed, so. No, it's the best. The best one ever. Yeah, we're going to say it's the best because it's the one we're at, you guys. If you guys caught our last video, you know we hired a little uh, caravan. We've got it holed up in an RV park that's about a couple miles outside of the downtown area. Mm -hmm. Sadly, they have closed up all the streets in here, so we couldn't even get close in any sort of vehicle, let alone our big rig. Yeah. So we are on foot tonight, and we are out to eat things, <laughs> to drink things, to be merry, yeah. to see all the beautiful lights. And most importantly, we got some business with some beans to take care of. Are you going to spill the beans already? We're meeting up with the travel beans later. That's what we're trying oh, to say. <laughs> and by that, I meant we're immediately going to tell you what's happening. They should be around a little bit later. We're going to meet the newest bean, Noah. Oh my God, we have yet to meet that little guy. We've seen his cute chubby face in photos and videos, but we have not met him yet. But before we meet up with them, we are going to peruse around. We're going to get our mold wine on, probably eat a delicious item or two. I'm Christmas so vibes. That's what we're so after. excited. First off, we're, if there was snow here, we'd be in a freaking snow globe. Does it get more picturesque than I don't this? Know, but I'm kind of glad it's not that cold. All right, lead the way. Christmas is that way. This way, the happiness and Holland, Holland days. We're starting off with some mold wine, classic. We wait all year for this stuff. I'm so excited. And it might have been the most beautiful presentation. She has these big vats of mold wine and apple cider with all those fresh juices and cinnamon and all kinds of stuff in there. Very authentic. It smells so good. It's yeah. going to burn my tongue and it's going to be amazing. As you can see from the big vat over there, it's just a bunch of spices and stuff mixed with wine. They heat it up. It's like clovey, cardamomy, cinnamon, all that good stuff. Freaking delicious. It is Christmas in a cup. Cheers. Cheers. Festival. Finally, December is here. Of Britain. Did you say Markets of Britain? I did. Do you guys know that video? We present Markets of Britain. British markets are the envy of the world. Beautiful, exciting, exotic. Erotic? That's the only thing we ever knew about Markets of Britain until we came to a market of Britain. You should search for Markets of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's one it's of our really favorite funny. things in the entire world. So if you're not familiar with Bath, it is arguably one of the more charming places in all of England. Everywhere you look, you're going to see these beautiful stone buildings. They have giant churches. They have an abbey in the center of town. It is just freaking stunning everywhere you look. It is the perfect backdrop for a Christmas market, and that's why we wanted to come here so bad. There are actually over 170 of these little sheds that have all kinds of little trinkets and all this goofy stuff, food, wine, basically all things Christmas. And a boozy Christmas is my favorite kind of Christmas. Besides booze, they also have presents and things and little trinkets you can buy. Yes, they do. Yeah, tons of stuff. It is called bath because it is built around the natural baths that were actually like way back in the day, these were Roman baths. And you can come and kind of go underground and explore the remnants of the original Roman baths. And it's actually really interesting. The town was kind of built on top of those baths. So to get to those, you actually have to go under the city. We actually explored those years ago. We'll link to that video. We did. That video will be in the description below. It was a very long time ago, so we looked a lot more youthful back then. <laughs> <laughs> we always hate going back and looking at our old videos because we're like, man, we were so young. Oh. We still look young, right? Yeah, young-ish. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Man, the rain is coming down out here, you guys. It kind of sucks, <laughs> but we're making the most of it. We just hunkered down under a little spot with an umbrella and some uh, flame heat over here. It feels very nice. Also, Eric had his heart set on getting the biggest sausage he could find. <laughs> Believe it or not, after we got this, we saw one that was uh, about six inches longer than this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Insert. There, is there some funny, clever joke about size and wieners? <laughs> just imagine she said something really funny there. <laughs> about really big weenies. They're also pouring proper beers here. Got me a pint of Guinness. Yeah, All right. I got a Madri. I don't know that I've ever had that, yeah, but right on. to sausages and markets and <laughs> beers. Y'all will never guess who we ran into at the Bath Christmas Market. What are the chances you guys are here? What were <laughs> your guys' names again? My name's Alex. <laughs> and I'm Emma. This is bean number one, bean number two. And we now have a bean number we three. We bean number three. 
This is Noah. How you doing in there, little buddy? <laughs> I, I love mean, this little right. transparent thing to keep him from getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're so happy you guys came to join us We're at the so Christmas market. You. We're so happy to How see you. How are you enjoying guys. this? Uh, it kind of sucks. We've just been huddled <laughs> under this this umbrella thing for like an hour now. We've been to Christmas markets before, right? Oh, like five, in, six years ago. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Austria? Was it was it Vienna Slovenia. or was it Vienna. Slovenia? Vienna. That was Vienna. Exactly right. Vienna. That's right. Yeah. Vienna. yeah, we had a lot of fun on that trip. It was so good. Especially the Slovenia one. Remember we stayed in that guy. farm? And then yeah. some guy came in with an axe to yeah. murder us. Oh no. <laughs> Wood fire. <laughs> we'll link to that video in the description below, but go check that one out. That, that was a hoot. Grab yourself a sausage then, governor. You caught me with the sausage on that. <laughs> Classic. Well, I was caught with a sausage in my mouth earlier, so. <laughs> that was on the news. Do you like the British sausages? Oh yeah, definitely. Especially your British. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Done. <laughs> what a little cutie. Um, you guys, doesn't he have just the most content look on his face? <laughs> for now. Oh, don't be a camera yeah. shy, come on. Come on, perform for them. Hey. Can you say like and subscribe for your first words? <laughs> come Tell on. us a joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Grana Padano, so that's the Parmesan. We had a uh, Pecorino Romano as well, so you get both cheese, you get sheep's milk and a cow's milk at the same time. Well, no need to take up your whole fridge. You, know, right. yeah. you don't need anything else. <laughs> Man with those claws. <laughs> there we go, my love. Cheers, enjoy, thank you, see ya. Oh my gosh, I did the right thing tonight, y'all. I got. I guess spaghetti noodles with a bunch of cheese, chorizo on top. Did you guys see the beautiful creation he made in there? He put the pasta straight onto the cheese wheel. That's what dreams are made of right here. That is the biggest hunk of cheese I've ever seen in my life. If we ever get a house, that's going to be the first thing I buy. I don't a care giant about cheese wheel. furniture, I don't care about a bed, I just want a big giant cheese wheel. Well, the beauty of it is you can also sit on it. It doubles as a, as a stool. A, a chaise lounge? Cheese lounge? A cheese lounge. You almost missed the joke, but you got it. <laughs> I got there. I figured it out. All right. <laughs> it's like stupidly delicious. So creamy and rich. We got chorizo on top. We got chili on top. I love it all. I just love it. So we've been a little bummed that they didn't have raclette at this market. And if you're not familiar with that, raclette is like this cheese that they scrape off and then they just put it on like a little baguette. Oh, it, it smells like butts and feet, but it tastes <laughs> it so tastes really good. It tastes really It doesn't taste like butts and feet, <laughs> no. I don't think. <laughs> but this is the closest thing, it's, I think, you know. It's close enough. Yeah. I'll take it. have eaten a lot at this market, but we're soldiering on and we got donuts. There's always room for donuts, y'all. enough to share oh, too. Things yeah. these guys do for you, the food that they eat for you. Oh, we're just going and going, y'all. I'm unbuttoning my pants. I won't show you below the belt though. But, uh, so this is a little cinnamon and sugar donut with Biscoff cream and Biscoff cookie crumbled on top of there. Yeah, because Biscoff is like a British thing, right? Yeah. I don't know, it's a big thing here. Like well, it's popular here. It. You're very, very popular. <laughs> yeah, the owls. You guys not have it? It's, we do, it's but not it's super not, common in the states. Like but I'd yeah. say maybe Nutella is more common. It's like chocolate orange. We have loads of chocolate orange, and you yeah, guys. Yeah, we don't have that. Oh, and I don't know yeah, how you could yeah. possibly I don't like know how that. You like it. It's so <laughs> good. It's you guys will have to comment: chocolate and orange. Do you like it or do you hate it? We hate it. They like it. Love, Love it. it. It's Love a cultural it. thing, you know. <laughs> well, at least we can all agree on biscuit yeah. yes. and donuts. Oh, well, donut cheers. 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 Put our holes together. Yeah, all those holes. <laughs> you got me with that one. That was good. <laughs> Peanut butter wishes it was this good. <laughs> That's like fantastic. I mean, it's like falling apart. It's like a crumb donut or like a cake donut. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's what you want. You want your donut to crumble in your hands. <laughs> and you can shove it down your throat. You got some Biscoff on your lip there. I want to get it's that. It's just like, it's everywhere now. There's a lot. I mean, I hope it's Biscoff. <laughs> <laughs> the little donut shed is very legit, y'all. They have this cool old school contraption that they are popping out the dough from and frying it right in front of you. And then they add all the toppings right at the end so it's nice and warm and fresh. Couldn't be better. Now give me. Yes. This one is mine. That whole one. I didn't get to cheers. Cheers. 
and I'll never like it. Yeah. We're parting ways with the beans. Oh my God. Nice to see you guys. Good to see you guys. All right. Have Maybe fun. we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see you around. Go on, yeah. get out of here. Yeah. Just get. Go on, get. I don't want them to leave. I don't want the night to be over. Yeah. Sadly, we, we really don't have that much time here in England, and I wish we did because we would be hanging out a lot with them. Yeah. But hopefully tomorrow we might get to meet up one more time. But anyways, we've had an absolute blast. I think we closed down the market. I think things. Oh are yeah. Kind of we nailed it. Well, they, we drank them out of mold wine. So. We drank all their mold wine. We ate all their sausages and donuts. What else can they do except <laughs> shut down? And that's what we're doing. Yeah, we're going to head back to the RV. Okay, see Let's you there. Go. One of the chalets was a gin that's from Cornwall, which is just, you know, a little ways west of here. We've been there before. We've made videos from there. So if you want to watch that, search Endless Adventure Cornwall, I guess. Yeah, that was long, 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 long time ago. ago. We were properly babies back then. And then by that, I mean, maybe I wasn't even 30. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm pushing 40, y'all. Oh, God. Oh, Don't, God. Why you bring that up? <laughs> we're still know. young. It's we're we're not 40 yet. Existential dread and all that. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm a mixologist. The key is you buy really good gin and then you ruin it with soda water. <laughs> the guy told us to mix it though. He did. Cheers, we can have a little drink, you know, a Yay. nightcap. And then we can go do what you like. I know you like that. That was actually playing in the cab on the way over here. But we are trying to go to bed early because we're taking advantage of the jet lag. We, we're on a schedule where we go to bed early and we wake up early at like 6 or 7 a.m. I'm liking it. It's yeah. not typical for us. Also, in the morning, the sun doesn't rise until almost 8 a.m. So it's really hard to do anything <laughs> yeah. during the day. You have a very short window of daylight. And Speaking we, of that, we are going to take advantage of that short window tomorrow. Yes, hopefully it will be a little <laughs> less rainy. I think maybe I will try my hand at driving tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see, stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more nervous for her to drive than she is to drive. But we had a blast hanging out with Alex and Emma, meeting Noah, hopefully we'll see them again tomorrow. They might come out while we're having lunch or something like that. What a perfect way to end the night, just mm -hmm. chilling in our little camper van. But thus concludes the Endless Adventure Christmas Extravaganza. So we filmed this a little bit before Christmas, but it's making me so excited to go watch every Christmas movie oh, yeah. ever and we made. we will be doing. You guys will have to let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite? I think for us, just friends. For me, it's Polar Express. That's what I watch when she's not there. Just you liking the Polar <laughs> Express has polarized our audience. Some people <laughs> wanted to unsubscribe when you said that last time. So to each I don't their really own. Blame y'all. It's not that good. I mean, it's. I said it wasn't good. It's no. just got a vibe. You know, I like the vibe. If you just get into it, you know, you pour yourself a little drink, just chill. It's good. Whatever. Go watch Just Friends instead. Well, all I know is that here we only have one rule: never ever let it cool. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.